No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, and today we are blessed to have an absolute legend in the building. Gang, 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 the littest podcast in the world. Say that, My littest. Guy. The littest. The littest. The littest. Podcast in the world. We in here. I never thought I was going to get this interview. Why not? Because when you got locked up, I wasn't even interviewing rappers yet. Yeah, but we two, 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 um, two birds of a kind. They said birds of a feather flock together, right? Yeah? Yeah. Just because we got good taste in vagina? <laughs> 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 Wait, so this is what y'all do? You just hit it hella times in a row? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> y'all passed that energy on too much. Just... I, I ain't been in New York in a while, so I, like, I'm, I'm kind of slow with a lot of the communication and shit. But I never really had homies with like a cool handshake in the first place. You never? Know? Nah. Got to. Got White to. people just aren't that advanced. We don't, just don't think like that, I guess. So, so some, some people, though, I don't give handshakes to. I just, ah, I just punch them or some shit. Yeah. I might punch them. You I might got... punch them, motherfucker. Like, ah, stupid ass motherfucker. You're the <laughs> definition of that, like, Brooklyn... Energy of just fucking hit you in the face. Like, well, actually, I mean, like, obviously, like 90% of dudes in Brooklyn ain't like that. <laughs> but, like, you just got that Yo, crazy. I know, I've known that? dudes in New York like you. Just hold on, hold on. What did you just say? What? 90% of people in Brooklyn ain't like that? But with the energy. Oh. Most of them are pretty, like, laid back, yeah, quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind but there's, cool. there's but you know, you. Nah, Brooklyn niggas is hooligans. The thing is, the Brooklyn motherfuckers is hooligans. They just like lower body. They mm. like to act smooth about it. That's the thing about New Yorkers. We like to act like hold it down a little, but we wild and shit. We was like people don't know we wild. New mm -hmm. Yorkers, you gotta be like really, really good at crime. Yes. Like you can't, you can't like get yes. yourself out that you, much because it's so like there's so much. Protection. When you come in New York, when you make it in New York, you make it anywhere because it's so like you be so smooth with shit. Like you be sitting next to a murderer every day, you wouldn't even know. Mm. All my time in New York, I would just always think that when I was seeing, you know, young people moving around and shit and just be like, they gr grow up so fucking fast because it's so dangerous. Yeah. You meet a girl in New York, she already, like, knows how to act when a dude hollers at her because <laughs> I, I've known a million girls in my life who come from Connecticut or whatever. I could say New York girls. Everybody like screaming them out, at them on the street. They're traumatized from having dudes holler at them 24-7. What you to go learn to holler at a girl? Uh, I've been in a relationship for five years. We're currently engaged. <laughs> I asked them if they want to make some bread on OnlyFans. What? That's you? Well, I mean, it works for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to find a better like you, you. You tempt them with money. That's so much better than like what? Like what? What is the average guy trying to sell a girl on? Just a good time. Some jokes. You guys do some jokes. I tell people jokes. Jokes always got me to pussy. Mm. Yeah, jokes and smile. Just, jokes and some smile. Just I... being around the gang. Being around the gang. That's the selling point. You just get to be around the gang. You just get to kick it. You know? Pop a molly with the gang. Pop a molly with the gang. God damn. Woo. What are you doing out in LA right now? On um, video shoots. We're doing some video shoots. I'm doing a script right now. Okay. With some writers. Actually, we got a movie. We're writing a movie right now. The Schmurder movie. The movie and the documentary. Okay. Actually, I just signed a deal with um, Master Pill, so I'm doing this documentary with them, too. Really? So you're going to do the documentary about your life, and then what's the movie about? The movie's about the life, because once I started telling them, I told them, like, four parts of my life. They're like, what the fuck? You can't fit all this in the movie. It's like, what the fuck? Right. They're like, yo, how are you going to do it? Like, we need this part. I'm like, then take that out. Don't oh, no, people need to know this. And I'm like, what about this thing? They're like, oh, no, people need to know this. And right. I'm like, God damn. So it's like they doing the documentary and anything, because there's so much shit that motherfuckers just don't know about me. You know what I'm saying? And, like, the smile. I'm a motherfucker like the smile. Once you see the smile, you ain't gonna know nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying I know I had that power since I was young. Like the smile gives just disguise everything. So you think your your powers are meant to be the distributed smile. in many ways besides just rapping? Just a smile. Ah uh, yeah yeah yeah. Was that always the plan? Yeah. I, 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 me, I'm I'm a spread joy, motherfucker. You heard? Mm. And I come from the nastiest, nastiest place. Like you see shit in the hallways, and I like motherfuckers that have fucking life in prison and shit. And I had them crying, laughing. Like they, I, I, I. I'm going to make you laugh. I'm going to make you feel sometimes like, you know what I'm saying? Because we come from the gutter. Right. So I like to, to get people that moment where you just feel free. You know when you just feel free? Uh -huh. That's what I'm on about. You don't so, get depressed? No. When, people, I, when I see people smile, it make me smile. Mm. So when I see people sad, I don't like shit like that. I'm like, so I was young. I'm like, yo, what up? Get up, nigga. Come on, let's go. Let's go do something. Like that. Right. But you never lost that even through doing all that time and shit. You got to imagine that it's got to really take its toll yo, on you, man. Yo, I don't like to tell people really about the jail because, you know, the documentary and everything. But oh, yeah. when I was in jail, I was wilding, bro. I was like. You're having a little too much fun. I heard about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's stitching on me. <laughs> I do it, I'm a good Yo, time. what you heard about what I was doing in jail? I mean, we don't got to get into too many details, but you know, I heard there was some shit going on. It was wild. It was like it was like a high school, you know. Right. And I mean, you're in there with all this fame all of a sudden, too. So you're like the superstar of the jail, right? 
it, it was sad because it was like I was known in jail. Like there's, there's famous people in jail already. Like jail have famous people. Okay. Every state you can ask anybody, jails has famous people already. Who was the famous people on your shit? No, you got like like gangsters. I'm talking about not famous right. people. Famous, like just people that. And I was a new nigga, unfortunately, that was known in the system before I was Bobby Schmurter. So when I was Bobby Schmurter, like, what the fuck? Right. Everybody I knew from juvenile, everybody's there. So they, what the fuck you doing here, nigga? Like, right. <laughs> type shit. But was it a good thing for the most part, or was it bad? Like, you were It was in embarrassing. There, you, you got respect, It was kind of right? embarrassing. Yeah, but respect is when it's kind of embarrassing. Like, yeah, we know you about that. What the fuck you doing here, though? Right. Hey, what was you doing? The crazy shit for me was because I lived in Brooklyn from for like seven years, and I left in like 2010. And then when I leave, I really start, you know, seeing, like, Chief Keith pop up and, like, all this shit, like, all this different street shit. When Chief and them came out, look, I ain't gonna lie, Chief and them changed a lot of shit. When yeah. Chief and them came out, I was locked up. I was locked up for a gun charge when Chief and all them came out. I don't like and all that. I came home, like, Dirk and all them was on Wildin'. I came home, like, 2012. Mm. Like, the middle of 2012 type shit. Because when I first yeah. seen you, that's what I thought is... Oh shit! This is the Brooklyn version of what's going on in <laughs> Chicago. Like the kids are really having their say. Like the young ass gangster ass kids that I knew in Brooklyn, because you just reminded me so much of all the dudes I used to ride bikes with in New York and shit. <laughs> you know any BMX dudes? BMX. BMX bikes. Oh no. No, you never got I'm into that. Always be in the hood though. Yeah. They always be like riding through on highways, on yeah. Kings Highway. Yeah, there's some legends out there. I'll give, I'll, I'll give you some bro. education. I'm right? scared of bikes, bro. Why? Right, because you're not coordinated, uh, right? No, yeah, bro. Like me, I'm, my whole body's unorthodox, so I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> like when I wake up, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> you always been like that, though? You always been trash at sports or anything? Yo, bro, I've been like a bunch of energy that I couldn't contain. Just blah, they try to put me on medication when I was young. Really? So like a bunch of energy, but I can't. Like, I don't know why. It just can't go. <laughs> it don't go. Like, it, it don't go. I'll shoot it and it go all the way up the fuck, right. man. I don't know. You want to shoot a basketball, like, you have to do a very controlled motion. Yeah, I don't have to. See, that's the you thing. Know, Me and control is very. Control. Ah, control is like left, I'm like right. You know what I'm, I'm an ass with it, too. Yeah, basketball. Control. It never made sense to me. I don't know. The ball, that <laughs> fucking hole is so far away. Golf? You can hit that that ball like a whole block? Like a couple blocks? With, I never played golf. Never? I was always like watching my dad doing this shit, and I'm like, "You fucking serious? You think I'm gonna go out to this fucking field and just whack a ball and just <laughs> like, why would I do that? Like, it's, it's way too far away." Your dad's rich as shit, huh? Nah. No. Oh no. Well, I don't, I don't think golf's a rich people's sport. YouTube's a rich sport. You what? You and rapping. <laughs> <laughs> you got more money than your parents? Huh? You got more money than your parents? Uh, I mean, yeah, right. Well, I take care of them, so it's the same thing, I guess. They got as much money as me. My sure. parents ain't letting me take care I, of them. I say that, right? They got as much money as me. There you go. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> okay. What do you think your fans want to see us talk about? That's one thing I was wondering. Because you out here on a media tour talking to everybody. Uh, um, They want to talk about the album. They want to talk about the features on the album. They want to talk about what's going on with the music. They want to talk about the music. They want to talk about the dances. They want to talk about the press. They want to talk about anything, I feel like. Okay. They want to hear about anything. Which I want to hear about. I'm going to focus on one of those things, the dancing. <laughs> out here on the West Coast, the clubhouse rooms is going up. Everybody got an opinion about what Everybody young Bobby Smurda doing. Um, the girl probably watching, so they mad. <laughs> the girl probably over there watching. Like, right. Fuck this motherfucker, though, you know? Yeah, how you feel about that? What, guys talking or I mean, girls? I mean, how do you feel about the suggestion that you're, like, less gangster because of the dancing or that you're losing touch with the streets, I believe, might be the quote as a result of some of the dance moves? I'm saying people see me all the time, so... Same ice stuff all the time. People right. Say, Try it. Try it. Try it, nigga. <laughs> Try it. Oh, that's that's dirty right there. Try it. Try it to pimp in there. Please. Try it. <sighs> Straight like that, you know what I'm saying? Try it. With a smile, baby. You mm. know what I'm saying? With a smile on. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm saying they gotta they gotta pretend to do all that. That's why they gotta uh, I does it with a smile. You Since came in 12. the game dancing. I was saying, yeah, I kept it dancing. I was like four years old. I've been busting niggas shit open since I was five, mm. <laughs> six. <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> nobody was really thinking about yeah, it back in the day. Yeah. They I'm were the like one, Bobby's yeah. gangster as fuck, but they weren't really worried about the dances back then. Because yeah, I was, yeah, you know, everybody gonna say this and that. It's like I got more money now, so I'm not. Mm. I don't see certain people, and when they do see me, it's not. It's not as that. It's love. You know what mm. I'm saying. So it's like it's for the internet. You're not know internet shit. Is I'm not about to be arguing on the internet. I'm right. a grown ass man. The day I argue on the internet, I'm a bitch ass nigga. The day a nigga get me to go out, grab my phone up, fuck y'all niggas talking about, get, get, get the password open, get the password open. Why don't I go get the address and go holler at a nigga? Right. 
the <laughs> fuck? They ain't brain science, you know what I mean? Like, but that's what they be doing these days. Like yeah, you see all the all the dudes, that's one difference from when you went in, when you got locked up, to when you got out, is that all of a sudden it became super normal to be staring at your phone, screaming, saying, I smoked I would your slap fucking this cousin. Shit. I'm gonna tell you something, like niggas I grew around, they know that already from the hood. I was one of the enforcers. I don't play none of that dumb shit. I'm not one of that. We're going to do something. We're going to do something. I'm not in time for all this back and forth and all this. I got too much games and all this other shit going mm. on. You know what I'm saying? It's just one, two. You know what I mean? It's not all this in and out. Shit. These niggas doing all this extra shit for. Right. Who are you grabbing phone for? If I was in the hood, they grab the phone now, I'd slap the shit out. Why the fuck you grabbing the phone for, nigga? Mm. Let people know our business. Nigga, what the fuck wrong with you? you know what but, but you're already on. Oh, yeah, yeah. But what I'm, about the new kids who they, they're not them, famous like, yet? They need to get famous by screaming into their iPhone no. and throwing up sets. <laughs> Let your name talk for you. Yeah. I used to meet people, this real shit, right? I used to meet people and they used to tell me shit about me that they didn't even know they was talking to me. Mm. Let, your, let your name talk. You know what I'm saying? Your name was so big that they didn't even realize. People used to tell me, yeah. This was the face. They said, Chewy, yeah. I'm like, word that black motherfucker did. And I mean, the bros <laughs> should be laughing. I'm like, look at this motherfucker right here. <laughs> I look at her. She don't even know. She's telling me, yeah, they say he shot up. And I, I just be looking at that motherfucker. Like, what? He did what? I'm like, what that nigga did? That crazy black nigga? Yeah, I heard he be over there. I'm like, ah, oh, I got you. Got you. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn. What you want me to do? Right. <laughs> you feel me? This is the thing, though, is it must feel kind of weird to, like, well, is there dancing in prison? Yeah, niggas dance every day. They used to call me happy for in prison. They did that, um, they used to be crying, laughing. Okay. You know how much nigga? I first got in there. I first got in there. Was, uh, you know what it, who used to get mad with it? It was old, always old niggas. Uh huh. I'm trying to sleep. This six o'clock in the morning. This nigga up dancing. Show your ass up, nigga. This look like the hotel. Hotel niggas late. Fuck you talking about? Who we lock out is late? Who the fuck you talking about? Damn it! I ain't got nothing else to do. Nigga, what's up? Ah! You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I, mean, I assume for like 99 percent of people doing prison time that there's there's no dancing. Nah, I make everybody dance. But I you would, dance. you you had your cell block turned up. I make the COs, everybody dancing, everybody mm. from the. For the niggas who wardens, everybody. I make everybody do that shit. Right. And that was before I was Bobby Shmurda, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But dance, while you were locked up, also it became so much more normal because like TikTok and shit like that. Now it's like you see all these gangsters dancing. Yeah, that's what gangsters do. Gangsters will do what the fuck I want to do. Mm. Like about that. I'm not thinking about with somebody telling me, oh, you can't dance, Bobby. Who's, let somebody tell me I can't dance. Right. Let somebody, what they going to do? But like in the case of Wack 100, I don't think he was like saying you can't dance. He was just saying that he thinks it's having a bad effect on how you're perceived by gangsters. I guess. Ain't right. Who you talking about? The love and hip hop niggas. I don't think Wack 100 was on love and hip hop. What's he do? That would be tight if he was. What's he do? Podcasters. Uh, he manages some artists, Blueface in the game. Oh, man, I still don't give a fuck about that shit. Bro. Not fuck with the game. Hmm. You know what I'm saying, but he's a. He's nothing to talk about. Okay. So. Well, we don't have to name that. I made a million dollars this week. <laughs> this week? Why would I want to talk about Wack Wadi? Uh. Just, I don't fucking talk about Wack Wadi. I don't see my lawyer. This guy. I don't fucking talk about Wack Wadi. <laughs> okay, okay, but here, here's a question that I'm sure that the clubhouse rooms would be interested in. Is there any dance moves that are over the line, that are off limits? The Macarena? What's that? It's like. Now, my Spanish babas, yo, every time they drunk, smile with Spanish girls, they do that all the time. They get drunk and they be like, D, 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 D. What the hell is that? They're like, D, D. They make me do that shit all the time. You pick up dance moves from the Spanish girls you be fucking with? I pick up dance moves from everywhere, bro. I told you, I was a group home nigga. I was not a person. I had to get kicked out of everywhere. I ain't had no behavior when I was young. But I was a funny motherfucker. So people were like, it was like a pro and a con. I was really bad, but I was funny. Right. I don't know if people liked me. You always been open to suggestion. You see something fly. I'm like, yeah, I should funny. Yeah, I should. Yeah. Mm. I'm not a person that got that prison mind. Or like, when I say prison minds, people that never been to prison got a prison mind where you you feel like you can't think because somebody gonna tell you it's not cool or some shit or whatever. Mm. I don't know. Some dumb shit. I mean, you're you're an individual. That's for sure. You're not just falling in line with what man. everybody else is doing. Man, as a bad man. Tell them, bring the army, bring the thing, and I'll go and chat for everybody. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> you lost me at bad man. Is that like bad man? That's good. That's good. You're right. Like you're, you're a bad man. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. My whole life, I've been listening to people talk like that and not knowing what the fuck they were talking about. Is, do you know that like white people can't tell what the fuck you're saying? That means like... Um, Some people probably That could. means like renegade. Just bad rumble. man? Yeah, bad man? Rumble. Renegade. Don't follow no rules. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's a Batiman? 
I don't know, and I don't want no trouble. <laughs> I don't want no trouble players. <laughs> it's a USA, my nigga. Ah, I just always hear, I, I hear that. I don't know what it is. I'm like, ah, nigga, ah, ah. Listen, I got, <laughs> I got all the types of fans. Hey, I love all my fans, okay? Okay. Like when I so cry, I love all my fucking fans. <laughs> mm. Wow. 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 Yo, the you, energy, I, I just like, you know, I'm 40, bro. I'm 38. That don't mean nothing. I'm rounding up to 40. That don't mean nothing. I'm just saying, though, it's like there's a lot to compete with on this side Yo, of the table. Yo, I know, I know, I know a 50, a 62 year old man that get up and do like 300 pull ups and 300 push ups every day. Wow. And dips and burpees a run. He's busy as fuck. This nigga's a monster. Well, you, you got on the workout program while you were locked up? I tried. I popped him once, but after that, I couldn't fuck with him. I got one day. I got it. I ah, spent him. Like, ah, ah, let me catch your breath. You got all that energy. It feels like you maybe need to take it out somehow. Uh, yeah, when I, try, I used to get in trouble all the time. I used to, I used to fight twenty motherfuckers outside. I'd be doing a whole bunch of crazy shit. Line up, guy. A lot of extra energy. A lot of extra energy. So right. I, I like what I put my energy in. That's why I smoke like a lot of weed. Or that's you trying to calm yourself down. Yeah, I smoke weed. I smoke a lot of weed. Just the weed though. You, yeah. you never try to slow yourself down with the the good shit. Like what? Uh, Xanax, lean, Percocets. Hey, no, I can't do that. No. I don't like Danny's. I, I smoke weed. Yeah. I smoke the weed. Everybody I know who Most. does those things also smokes weed. Nah, I can't do Xanax. You can't do it. I like it though. I don't like liquor like that, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't like liquor like that. I've known a lot of rappers who had a lot of fucking energy and then they just end up drinking hella lean and popping hella pills and all of a sudden you see them like two years later. I drunk lean like uh, one time. I drunk lean like one time for my birthday when I was like 17. We was like juvenile. And my son had it. And my son got it for me. Actually, my, um, my road manager, we was like in Juvie one time. He was back in the days, like 10 years ago. We was in Juvie. Mm. And my birthday came, and he got me some things, some shit, some lean. And I tasted it. I'm like, I don't want that shit, man. <laughs> 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 and that shit had me smacked, though. We was in jail, so you know, you, yeah. get, you know what I'm saying? But, like, and it takes a certain kind of dude. Huh? It takes a certain kind of dude to want to just basically drink this expensive yeah. ass shit that's gonna my make body, you fall asleep. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. My body is, once it, once it on jacket, I don't give a fuck what price is on it, what day, once it's like. I'm about my I don't like it. I don't like it. Right. I get that shit out of here. What time do you go to bed? People have been, since I was young, people have been cursing me out about going to bed. I don't go to sleep. I don't know why. Really? And I, when I do sleep, I sleep at the weirdest hours. I just pass out. Really? Like, I don't be like, yo, I'm about to go to sleep. I can't just be like, yo, <laughs> babe, we go to sleep. That's it. You don't put the little nightcap on? I and like, can't. I just be jumping around. Ah! <laughs> hey, get you, get up, put your stuff, take your shoes off. You're like a cat, you like just take a little nap and uh, then just pop back up pop a couple hours up. later. With this yo, what's up, Thomas? Yeah, <laughs> really? That's a that's such a rapper thing. So, like, there's no such thing as night or day, you're just like ready to go anytime. I used to sell drugs, yeah. So, my life always been like before the rapper. So, it was like before I was rapping, I used to sell drugs all day, three yeah. to four. Like, my, my hood, you, I was like, you were liable. Any given day, every single day, mm. four or five in the morning, I'm outside, I'm brushing my teeth on the corner, bunch of guns on me, we got the block lit, I, I need to shoot dice, this, 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 I'm like 14, 13, all day. I go to school, ain't doing that shit. I always, always out here, wild motherfucker. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't think you should have been huh? out there like that. School, I used to get in trouble in school a lot, so I stopped going to school. They tried to control me a lot. Like, I was bad. But, like, what you're describing is something that, like, most people think kind of, like, ended in, like, the 80s or the 90s. Like, a right. kid, young-ass kid being out there selling fucking drugs on the corner in Brooklyn with hella guns on him. Because, like, the Brooklyn that my most mom, of us know being there is just not a good shit. idea to my be doing that. My mom's kicked me out. She found my gun. She kicked me fuck out. She don't play that shit. Damn, really? I uh, yeah, y'all outside on the corner all of the shit. <laughs> huh? Get that shit out of the house! What the <laughs> How do you feel about the fact that Brooklyn had got like so much worse with the gang shit and people shooting each other, et cetera, since you went in? It's not like all these kids just like learned a lesson. I feel like, I feel like, see, the thing is, they don't know, like, I be telling these young motherfuckers, like, they don't understand the rap shit is the way, like, the rap shit, even if they don't want to rap is the way out for motherfuckers, like, mm. instead of them thinking about doing, like, because they need something to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers on the streets, they need something to do. The studio keep people busy. Studio, you're shooting music videos, mm -hmm. you're doing your shows, you're doing that. They're not thinking about so much this and that, and they, they expressing their pain and their anger in a different way. So I be trying to tell them young motherfuckers that. Me, I wish I had, like, I ain't gonna lie. I had, when I was that age, though, niggas used to tell me go to the studio all the time, mm. and niggas had to bribe me to go. Sometimes or like drag me with them, or sometimes I'll go like, I right, come on. So you didn't have the rapper dream. You just you started street dreams at that point. You thought that that was nah, a good route. I was just, 
Not street dreams. I was a little crazy motherfucker, bro. Like you, <laughs> yo. When I was seventeen. You asked me what's my fucking goals. I'm gonna tell you. I'm trying to sell drugs to get it. Like buy a liquor store and buy a liquor store to buy real estate and buy this and that, this and that. When I was seventeen, right. And if you even if you had known how much money you can make as a rapper, though, do you think that that would have swayed you, or do you think you were kind of stuck in your ways already? I felt. You know what I was? I was stuck in my ways where I felt like I was scared to be a rapper. Mm. Cause I was like, oh shit. Uh-uh, I'll be shooting niggas for $20. These niggas is tripping. 20 <laughs> Yeah, I was in the hood. Why? Jesus why? 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 Christ. I said, uh-uh, these niggas, these niggas in the rap game be tripping. I was like, uh-uh, these niggas make me go tear the whole fucking place up. And they gonna give me money? Right. I was scared when I was 18, 19, especially with the bros. Right. But do you think that, like, your... Do you think that you would have been in a That's different why I, situation? If I know I, how the young niggas be. Like, they be like, damn, they gave me all this money. Right. I got ops. <laughs> but now Choppers, it's, like, required. Got- like, like these young kids, they think that they shouldn't even bother rapping unless they got <laughs> ops. They're talking about who they're going to go shoot at, et cetera. See, it's like there's no reason to rap unless they're going to be talking about that kind of see, shit. And I, feel, I blame you, honestly. Like, you I feel like you, you kind of started you know that. Where they, they're all trying me, to be. All those kids in New York are trying to be like you, even if they don't remember that that's why. You know why I say that you can't blame me, A? Because you listen to my music. I don't only talk about just guns all day. I know. But the same way that Chief Keith set that template for Chicago, y'all really like kind of show this whole generation of kids is like, oh, you can come from nothing and shit as long as you're talking about some super real shit. You're clearly really out there. They all fell in line and started kind of no, taking that see, mold. You see the thing? I ain't, I ain't no show no guns in none of my videos. I don't promote shit like that. That's smart. I don't promote. I don't promote motherfuckers that have guns. Like they yeah, around from, with the blicky on the train. No, I don't promote motherfuckers that have guns. They yeah. tell you from the hood. When I was in the hood, I used to tell, like I was a young nigga. I used to tell them. I used to tell some niggas certain go inside. Like what you doing outside? Mm. Or what you doing this and that for? You know what I'm saying like you see how everybody be like outside nowadays. You know what I'm saying, I'm like, I, when I was young, I'm like, what you doing outside? Once shots start flying, your ass running right inside. I seen like, once this and that stuff. <laughs> I, I once shit start going down, 20... nigga, that ass going right back inside. Nigga, ain't nobody outside no more. When well, we blazing, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? So that, that, that's what when I when I when I'm looking at them, I'm like, y'all outside doing the wrong things, but outside having fun. Right. Because one one, I want people to get missing stuff. Yeah. They look at me as the shooter. They look at me this and that. But I tell motherfuckers, I always had a good personality. I ain't never do nothing to nobody on this world. Unless some other nigga did something. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why I wrote why I'm a smile on my face. Do like you that. think that if you had a good mentor at that time who had told you how to yeah. finesse the rap game and how to, like, if you had really had somebody, not, not but finesse, would you have even listened? Not finesse. He told me, I, 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 I didn't have to tell me finesse. Once I started making money in rap, I said, shit, I'm on the block making a thousand, two thousand, four hundred on a bad day, five hundred on a bad day, sitting outside all day, mm. selling crack with guns on me, running from police, shooting at people, shooting niggas, this, that, all day. That shit has a, a time limit on it. Mm, big time. Niggas don't understand that. When I was in the streets, I knew it had a time limit on it. Mm. I ain't give a fuck. Some motherfuckers just ain't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? When we, like, some, like some people get deep to it where you don't, I ain't give a fuck. But once I found a light that showed me like, oh shit, I got a way out. Like what the fuck? Rapper? Me? Mm. Rapper? That's why I blew up like that. Like me? Chewy? Rapper? Mm. Bobby Schmurter. You did take off and you left it behind, but then the cops didn't forget about their prior investigations. They can't forget about me. Hey, they still talking about me right now. That's how I, I'll cause havoc. Like, I'm not your average rapper. Rappers, like, all right, certain people you in the hood, when niggas hear they rapping or they made it, it's like, all right, cool, I can see them rapping, making it. Mm. Motherfuckers like me, everybody thought I was going to be out in jail my whole life. That's all they tell me. Like, hey, he going to jail. He going to jail. That and motherfucker you, impulsive. He going to jail. Did you, like, Take that in and not really expect more for yourself because you knew that people's expectations were. I never listened to people that from young because I was always getting trouble when I was young. That always cut me from when I was young. I never listened to people. Mm. I always had that man the fuck up because they always telling me something. They always gonna tell me something. So I just smile. I be smiling, looking at the motherfucker like nigga. You think I'm listening to you? Stupid. You just talk. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So right. it'd be like that. Like, but when you see all these like Brooklyn drill rappers, etc. Do you see like your influence in that? Do you do you realize this is shit that probably wouldn't be happening? It wouldn't look exactly like this if it wasn't I feel for like, you. See, the thing, the only influence I see more is them having fun. Yeah. That's doing videos, dancing. The guns in the videos, that ain't no influence. Yeah, they're on way me. worse with you. In that, that yeah, because me, I influence dancing, smiling, coming from the street life, and being able to smile. That's why I smile and dance and talk about what the shit that I talked about coming through and being able to go come from where I came from. 
from the psych wards and the jails and the juveniles I was 12 mm. and you know what I'm saying the psych wards I was 6 I was 16 and the fucking prisons and everybody know my name and my brothers and my fathers and like the real ghetto ghetto shit that people don't know like I done did it all mm. you know what I'm saying all from a kid like you know what I'm saying I was I was a big dog when I was 14 you know what I'm saying I didn't go to school I didn't go to junior high school I didn't do none of that so I got a different type of story from every rapper mm. even a gangster rapper because what gangster rapper you know smiling like you smile and like this in front of your face mm. That's a good point. I know. A lot of people try to tone I'm it from down. the hood. I'm from the hood. I know niggas. That's why they drink all that lean, so they can just sort of get that killer demeanor, like, because they're fucking barely awake. Yeah, I do it naturally. I'm naturally like that. I'm naturally good with mm. Some people like get on drugs and shit all that, and make their minds and watch TV and do a bunch of dumb shit. I don't know. You don't shit. watch TV either? I, I no don't really watch TV like that. I'm, I'm on go. I got ADD. It's hard. Like, I could watch TV, and I watch it for like 10 minutes. I'm like, yeah, I'm, on, I'm one of those motherfuckers. Mm. Yeah. I feel that. So you in the club every night now? No, studio. Studio. Studio, um, documentary, and Ooh. script. Working on shit. I just told you, I just did the documentary dick. I know, but I just wouldn't picture that you would be like working on it every night. Oh, um, yeah, we're working all the time. You're really, we got you're NFTs coming out. We got oh, weed strains coming out. You're soon about to have the Schmurder strain coming out. Yeah? It'd be, it's growing right now. As we talking, you got a lot to compete so with. So you're, trying to, you're trying to smoke better than this big chief. I need some of that, man. Let me get I some. Got of that. you. Come on, let me roll some of that thing. Got you. Got to get you on the wagyu truffle and the mac and cheese, man. Mac and chief. Sorry. What's slapping the most? Uh, this one. Oh no, the, the triple scoop. That's a, the hardest one. Uh, I need some rapper weed though. This is shit gonna put me to sleep, or this is shit gonna have me like ah. Rapper weed's supposed to put you to sleep, right? No, I'm the dark rapper weed's supposed to make you dance. I like the shit that make me dance. The shit that make me sleep make me feel like I'm on some drugs. Like I'm, I'm doing the shit that I was selling. Like hold on, nigga. Well, like, what, <laughs> what, what kind of weed? What kind of weed you normally smoke? I feel smoke? like I'm in a trap again, nigga. I used to be the one. I'm, uh, I'm not the one. Like what the fuck? <laughs> fuck going on, nigga? Right. You know what I'm saying? I need that. I need that. Yeah. You been smoking good since you got home? I haven't smoked since I was in jail. <laughs> Even the, <laughs> the whole time you were in there, you never took a like. Yeah, you used to kick me out like, of jail. Oh, for you, that. you can't smoke for a couple weeks because the the pipeline the death, is fucked up. That's because they come they they come yelling. Ah, uh -uh, this black ass motherfucker, Polar, you got this shit smell like Jamaica. I'm coming up. To, what you talking about? It ain't me. It ain't, they searching. Why searching up? Heavy lit. Heavy lit. Like you want like. Wow. Yeah, it was ghetto. I tell you, it was ratchet. The, but guards, you the, the guards hated you, or they were all right. They said I was a movie. They said I, it, was, it was something to do every time I came. They when I, right. when I'm there, everybody want me in their house. Everybody want me there. I'm like, yo, y'all leave me alone. Everybody, really? I don't know. Yeah. And so you're fucking the guards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, allegedly. No, no. That didn't happen. No, I did not fuck no guards. Guards do not give people pussy in jail, okay? Are any of them like I got head on the I got head on the dance floor, okay, in the visit. I got head on the visit. For real? Yeah. From a guard? <laughs> <laughs> guards are not doing, they're not bringing drugs. Or they are CEO not fucking nobody. What? They're doing their jobs. But were there any okay? bad CEOs? Like, I don't, that doesn't strike me as a job that a pretty young girl is going to want to go into. <laughs> Hey, I seen one. She like, when I'm out, like 23. She's like 22. Yo, it's a little light skin, fat joint. So she woke me up one day, right? She like, yo, get out, Bobby. Ah, ah. So I'm like, let me stop. Hey, <laughs> wait till the documentary. He's <laughs> gonna give me in trouble. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> ah! <laughs> like, give me a trouble. Yeah. You know, my favorite thing I seen though was right when you got out that I seen on Twitter that there was mad people mad as fuck because you had some white girls around you. I like, yo, bro, I like him from the nappy hair to the blondes, baby. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ass is ass, ass is ass, pum pum is pum pum. Once it's nice and it's shape. I'm Jamaican, man. I like the girls. I like gellas. You know what I'm saying? I'm like gell. Yeah. I'm like, yes. I'm like all type of gell. I'm like variety of girls. I like light skin ones. I like brown skin ones. I like the chalk. You mm. can't just have I like one. The white one. one flavor. You got to go with all flavors. Right now, I'm trying to find out which one I want forever. So you don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to just lie to a girl and rush into something and be like, "Yo, I want you." I want that. I gotta, I gotta let them know. Like, I gotta, I gotta explore. I gotta see what's what's hitting for me. So you don't have a real like perspective, a real opinion about what race has the best vagina at this point in your life. I don't believe in shit like that. Okay. I'm, bi I'm, I'm biased to like when it comes to picking things. I can't pick like if it's. I might like this one today, like this one tomorrow. I like this one for this, like this one for that. That's so. what I feel too. When people are like, I don't like white girls. I don't like black girls. I'm I like, like girls. How could I not? Like, I like girls. They're all so incredible. Look at them lips. Oh, oh sound it. See, sound That's it. That's how wet this table is. <laughs> <laughs> That's how wet she was. <laughs> That's how wet they are. <laughs> but I like girls, bro. 
I like girls, 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 girls. Y'all do the music shit too? What? Y'all gonna put that on? I like girls, girls in the background. Girls, sure. girls, girls. We're going to prison if we do that. <laughs> They're gonna lock us up for copyright infringement. That's your boss. <laughs> you could ask Jay, like, hey, is it cool I if we. Tell, uh, ooh, y'all got some grab in this? Who rolled that? Who rolled this shit? Who's your grabber roller here? PJ, oh my God. So why? He horrible, bro. This is man. Every time he rolls some shit, I'm like, should be just flying. You don't trust his. He should be rolling to get high. He's like, ah. I'm like, you gotta take your time with this. This is some serious shit. That's harsh, man. This is serious shit, right? This man went in and did seven years. He comes out, he can't even smoke right. (laughs) That ain't right. (laughs) How many of those you go through in a day? (laughs) How much y'all think? Five? Hell no. He did two in an interview. He <laughs> 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 <You> got me. He <laughs> got me. This guy. <laughs> I, I, I did like 40, 40, 40. 40. About 40, about 40. Holy about shit. 40, 30. Right. About 40, 30. Right. It depends on what I'm doing for the day. You know why? Because it's like, I tell people, like, I, I smoke and do shit. So I'm like, I'm like a, you know what I'm saying? Right. But always with the fronto in the fucking paper. Never a backward. I can't. I, I've been smoking this shit since I was 11, since I was 10. But always like that inside I smoked the, the paper? Dutchess first. I smoked chocolate Dutchess first when I was like 10. Then right. I started smoking. Old school. Yeah, thing when I was like 11. Good old days. That was 2004 and five. remember them days? Right. But are you staying the fuck out of New York now for the most part, or are you just really no, careful? No, I'm in New York and in L.A. a lot because um, Rock Nation's mm. in New York, based in New York, and Epic is based in L.A. right now, so I'm back and forth, and I'm, I got the companies back and forth on Mass Appeal and other ones I'm, I'm showing the script with. But you're standing your toes at this point because, like, the New York cops, they probably got a little grudge nah, against cool. you, right? They no? cool with me. I mean, you did your time. They cool with me, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm getting money now. I ain't got time for that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yo, bro, that was some dirty shit like they did. I told you, when I, once I got into the rap, I left the streets. Uh. You know what I'm saying? But it's still, they like, uh uh-uh. uh, they was mad. Like, you, how you just, nigga, you know, not you. Right. You could go. But this motherfucker right here. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm just like, yo, me, what you talking about? I'm trying to, you know, ah. right. Like, oh, come on. He's like, no, you, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Well, they got all these dudes who are like eight, nine years younger than you that are doing way worse shit right now that they could focus their attention on, right? Uh, but I don't know why but I just felt like it was personal Like boom 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 The cops that indicted me They was locking me up Until I was like 12 mm. Like they was going in my ass Shit Like putting me on walls Going in my ass When I was like 12 years old Wait In your ass? So you have a credit card swipe Like that? Yeah ah, I'm like ah, Get the fuck off me Dude, Y'all can't God. do that like, shut up! No, shut up! I remember when I was interviewing Shaw Money lady, XL. Yo, the Chinese lady was yelling in the back. Ah! Shaw <laughs> Money was traumatized by that fucking shit when they ran in there. So, yeah, that I, was crazy. He told me that story before you I, even did. That was regular shit. That was regular shit for us. But you know what it is? You like you know? I know the industry. I tell niggas you gotta leave that shit in the streets. Don't bring that. You scare these industry people. Don't do that shit. You better leave that shit out there, nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying you got cap- ah, they don't know what the fuck going on. You got these motherfuckers about to catch a heart attack. Probably your, your motherfucking ass over here looking. You can't. You got to. You got to be easy, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying right. get the breach. You know what I'm saying get the money. You came for. Take care of your daughters, your cousins, your bros that's locked up, they daughters, they cousins, they, I mean, I mean your families, this and that, your businesses. But if, if you could tell me that you really, like, went through that whole process of having to go, you know, the, the being arrested, being in there, realizing you're going to do all this time, and you never had, like, this sad, depressed oh, yeah, yo, yo, state yo, yo, about oh, yo, you, no, or no, no, you went no. through some dark times? My family, when I see my families, mm. that's it. See, the thing, I'm a motherfucker, everybody know me, I don't... I, nigga, I sacrifice myself back and forth, nigga, I'm saying it, it, Like, me don't... I don't hurt, you know what I'm saying? I, I hurt through people. Mm. So that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? It'd be them hurting and shit like that. But I feel like that's almost like a pathological level of positivity if you just, like, can't even feel bad about that shit or feel shitty about it. I'm the kind of person where it's like, you know, if I had a fucking court date hanging over my head, I'm going to be thinking about it every fucking 20 since, minutes. Since I was young, I was like, I don't, I'm more, I don't give a fuck until mm. I see my mom's cry or I see certain shit and I'm like, ah, shit, I got to tighten up. Or I see the family or I see the kids now. Now I got nieces and nephews. I was 17, 18, you know, I had mom dukes and granny, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So now when I got like, nieces and nephews, it's like, damn, I got to raise these little motherfuckers. They calling me all the time, they this and that. Fuck, they look like they uncle on, up and, you know what I'm saying? On news for like, shooting somebody or some dumb shit. I ain't got time for that shit. Right. right. Niggas, niggas, niggas who, niggas who, at, who at a certain age that's talking about that, that means you ain't do what you had to do back in the days, you know what I mean? So you still on that type of shit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? 
Yeah, I mean, you, you you're still talking about that type of shit for you know what I'm saying. One thing that struck me in this whole dance conversation is that it's like you you did like the most gangster shit, the most hardcore shit you'd ever have to do through going and sitting down for all that time. And does it kind of feel like people are just like sort of trying to drag you back? Like they want you to be judged on a standard. You, crabs you, in the barrel? you already been you through all that shit. Yeah. Crabs in the barrel. That's what you mean. Call them. Call them like you see it. Crabs in the barrel. You mean like motherfuckers who try to drag we you back down? We don't say that down. out here. Huh? We don't say crabs out here. What? Crabs in the barrel? That's complicated. I don't mean it like that. Man. Know, Come on, nigga. I'm big. Come on, nigga. They know I'm, I'm big hurt, nigga. <laughs> nigga, no, I'm big hurt, nigga. I mean, you know, but they don't say that as a diss out there? Um, yeah, but you see, I'm Badman, so I say what the fuck I want, because nigga know who I am, you know what I'm saying? I could wear it right all day, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? Because they know, yeah. they know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sound it, you know what I'm saying? They know, I'm the, I'm the, I was a shooter, saying no, no mass, no nothing. You, know you like saying? running around saying that because you can't say it, huh? I'm saying all the kids in junior high school, they, they might gonna tell you, the opposite. they might gonna tell you, the kids from junior high school, they like five years old when I was in the streets wilding and shit. Right. And they in high school now and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But then so, how do you tell those same kids not to do the shit that you did? Because I tell them my shit was for reasons. You know what You know what it was? A lot of my stories, that's why the documentary got to come out because people think, oh, they hear you did this and that. But what, for what reason? Because it was a crab in the barrel because I always had this energy in the hood. But a lot of people that when you go up through the hood and certain people, like when I was growing up, a lot of people didn't recognize, think they would hear about me, but they, they would hear me. They'd be like, this is him? Mm. Why the fuck he acting like that? And then when shit go down, they be like, oh, shit, that's, okay, that's him. Oh, okay, that's him. But how do you stop these young kids from wanting to have that same so kind of I reputation? To, but look, the thing is why I try to tell them, because the, you know, because I don't, when people don't talk enough, when I don't talk enough, stories get this and that, and pictures get painted. Mm. And people think that we wanted to do that shit, like we still, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers ain't on that shit, but it's shit that we have to deal with. Mm. And we motherfuckers, when we we learned that once you these type of people that you're gonna deal with situation no matter what, you gotta remove yourself from the situation. But you didn't have to. You could have gone and worked at Radio Shack, right? Nah, my brain, the way my body, my brain is. I ain't listening to my mama. Right. I'm gonna listen to somebody else. Mm. This lady, I love to death. The lady, I listen to love everybody. That I ain't listening to the older homies, big homies. I used to get my ass whipped. I'm shooting at niggas. I'm doing this all day. I didn't listen to no, not a damn thing. Grab your gun, I'm gonna grab my gun. We can do what the fuck you gonna do. Right. Fuck you talking about, nigga. But, but you made those decisions even with like every part of society, basically. From all hood, through school telling hood, you not to jewelry, do that. Aside jail, from bros, the rap you were listening to. Ops, everybody. And, you know. I don't listen to nobody because I at the end of the day, I do it in my heart. I got a good heart, so I do it in my heart type shit. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna listen to you if it makes sense. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna just tell me this being that because you say that you're older than me. You're saying this, and it gotta make sense. Mm. It gotta make sense what you're telling me. You gotta. You, you, you gotta tell me two plus two is four. You know what I'm saying? Not five plus five is four. You can't right. tell me that. I expect me to listen to you because you're bigger than me or you this and that. Even you got the, to make the sense. The worst criminals probably had a parent that was like telling them, "Don't do that." Oh, yeah, my, my mom, yo, I, I was a motherfucker, everybody in the hood knew me. I get my ass like 10, 8 times a day from niggas outside, <laughs> inside, school, everywhere. I was, uh, and I'd be laughing all day. Like, I don't give a fuck. So ass whoopers ain't never been nothing to me. Like, trouble ain't, <laughs> trouble ain't nothing to me. I don't know how to deal with that. Like, no problem. All right. But when you were saying, like, when you don't talk enough, it allows people to be able to create That's what their it was. own narratives. And then people from the youngest think that I'm out here doing this, but I'm just trying to live and I'm fighting motherfuckers that's trying to keep me from smiling or feel like I'm weird because I smile or feel like I make them uncomfortable because of how I move or mm. this and that. And that's what it be. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like they want you to be something that you're not. Like, they want you to be the they sort said, of stone cold killer motherfucker. No, listen, that's the thing. See, this, the streets don't know. The stone cold killers are the ones that's quiet, the ones that you're never going to know. That's yeah. the facade. The Nobody wants to see that, that dude rap. Yeah, the niggas who put that thing on, that's a facade, <laughs> homie. Yeah. Cause my, my whole thing is like, why you don't got that same face on when they put a gun in your face? Mm. You better have that same face on. That same step, all that, this and that. When niggas run down on you with your man, with your family, all that, you gotta have that same shit. Mm. I'm saying? So that's why I say it don't be that real, bro. It don't be that. Yeah, they gotta relax. And then my whole thing is what you feed in the streets and you feeding these kids. You know what I'm saying? Don't feed the streets and don't feed the kids that you know you ain't do that. Mm. You ain't put that blood on the streets. Why is you feeding the kids that? Why is you feeding the streets that? And then, and then you and then the niggas you you talking about your brothers all the time. You talking about your cousins or this and that. What you like? You know what I mean, and then you don't even know what they did it for, mm. or what this and that. You know what I'm saying? So that be that be the the bad shit I do hate about the game but because that, young people do. Some young people do listen to that. The rap game 
previous to like the modern age where you could have all these young ass kids like screaming into the camera and making their own rap videos. The rap game is a bunch of millionaires who don't have to break the law talking about all this criminal shit, talking about popping pills, talking about spraying up blocks, all this bullshit that they, if they ever did it, it was a long ass time ago, but they talk about it as in present tense. Like, as if it just happened yesterday, and all these kids listen to it, and they want to do that shit. And then now you have the young up-and-coming rappers from a place like Brooklyn who basically are doing that and then are also rapping about it. You know why I could... could I could say against that because I understand why some of the artists do that, even if you say it's a long time ago, because it's traumatization. Mm. So you could lose your friend from 10 years ago, and I I lost my friend from 14 years ago since I was like 13. And when I see his mom to this day, I still cry. Right. You know what I'm saying? Why, like, I see his moms, I still... But that's some real shit. There's a lot of people just doing some dumb shit, saying, like, ah, I sell bricks, I do this, all that. It's like, okay, like, whatever. Just, like, put put negativity out there because they got nothing else to say. Mm. There's a lot of that going on, too. I feel like it's entertainment. And also in entertainment, as I say, some rappers do it to speak other people's lives. But Mm. my whole thing is that you got to also tell these kids... What it is, what is it what it's here for at the real. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Definitely. I saw an old interview where you were saying that your waves would be in by twenty twenty two. I forgot my do-rag. The and, and Miri <laughs> hat goes back on. <laughs> I forgot my do-rag, you heard? Right. But the cut, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's a work in progress? Yeah, it's a work in process. Would you ever get your hairline done if it ever starts to drift upwards? Hell yeah. Yeah? Bitch getting their ass done. Why can't get my hairline done? Listen, <laughs> I told They weren't my doing friend, that much when I you went my in. Friend, I was born with this hairline. I was born with this hairline. You came out and 40% of girls Those got a BBL. took so much shit from me, you know what I'm saying? My hairline a little from me. But what I was saying to girls... They getting their ass done. I can't get my hairline done. Shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that, it wasn't really like that. You had some freak show ass bodies, like stripper bitches and shit, who had like butt implants in like 2012 I, and shit. Yeah, now, I, I, now they all got it and it looked pretty good because it came right from the stomach. I don't mind. No, I don't mind. I don't mind slapping. Let me in. Let me in. Slap. That slap nice, bro. Yeah. I, I, ask me. You give it six it months. Real. Six months, let it work work itself in. It feel real. That's what I'm saying. When you start fucking when they got it like two weeks ago, it can be kind of weird. You touch it and it's like a fucking basketball. Yo, one time, I tell you the first time I've ever seen fake titties, the story. Mm. I would say this shit is wild funny, bro. I was about, yo, some shit was about to go down like 18. And it's why I went to Miami. And you know, I start fucking around with these, these niggas get money. Mm. So it was this girl, she had fake titties. Right. But the shit was hard. So my head thought it was something else. I'm like, <laughs> you thought you were being fooled. I said, no, 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 it's not. <laughs> Yo, what did you think that the titties were? <laughs> what the hell did you think I thought the titties was, nigga? A thousand push ups. <laughs> Yo, yo, I said, I said, yo, hey, I said, yo, I said, I said, hold on, I said, hold on, I ran downstairs, I said, yo, Tom, come upstairs real quick. I said, what happened? He said, I said, I said, some more fucking, this shit's hard, bro. Right. They're like, what? What you mean? So they come, so we we talking, and we just like, look at me, they like. You had to do an inspection? <laughs> yeah. Make sure everything like, was on the up yo, and up? They're like, yo, chill, you tripping, bro. I don't know what you mean, you tripping. They're like, yo, I, my bro downstairs, he used, he getting money. He used to this shit. We from the trenches, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. He, he getting money. He one of them niggas from the hood. He left the hood already. He, when we go out the hood, we, we call him when we out there. Like, yo, bro, we come like, like I'm going to show you a good time. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So we out with him. He getting money, you know what I'm saying? He, he like, yo, bro, that's uh, uh, that's, 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 that's that's fake titty. That's how they all do. I let them sit. I'm like, what? I said, now you gotta be telling niggas that, homie. You don't just be doing shit. Like, I could have been on some drugs or some shit, nigga. Like, ah! <laughs> Brr, ah! <laughs> the fuck out! <laughs> he said, Yo, Chewie, what happened upstairs? Brr, ah! <laughs> Did you <try> give it? <laughs> you feel me? So you don't. <laughs> you don't just. You feel me? <laughs> like, what the fuck? That guy ain't weed. You got a blunt roller in there? <laughs> <laughs> He got a little ass roach. She yeah, got I got about that money. Take a party. You want me to hit the fronto? You want to hit it? Let's go. Yeah, hit that shit. He like it's more fucking crazy. <laughs> Come on, let me roll this. Let me my, my boy Black Dave rolls these things all fucking right day. Shout out my boy Black Dave. He's the reason why I really fuck with the frontos and whatnot. I'm about to show you how to roll a grab leaf. Y'all know how to roll a grab leaf. I'm the best roller out of Brooklyn. It seems like such a crazy idea to me to put the fucking leaf inside the paper. 
But I mean, you're and making the rules. Like, this like, is Bobby's world. No, it, it do two different smokes, so we get two different like tastes off of it. I know, it's just so trippy. It's like, yeah, it's fire. And what the fuck is happening? You don't like the paper? I mean, it's cool, man. You like the front though better? This shit had me on my ass. <laughs> Give you a crazy head rush. <laughs> you fuck with Bobby Hill? Bobby Hill? From King of the Hill? No? Bobby, Bobby Brown? Any other? Boy? I like Bobby Brown. Your favorite Bobby Bobbies. Brown. Uh, Bobby Brown has one of my favorite songs, actually. Which one? Um, don't be cool. I love that mm. shit. Don't be cool. Ah, ah. Mm. You know, and, uh, and uh, my mama. Listen, my mom used to clean the song. I'm in the house to that shit all the time, and that shit been in my head since I was like five. Or if six, you were bro. born twenty years before, you would have been in an ill R and B group like that. Nah, you know why? Oh, I'm man. too. I'm too. I'm too much of a troublemaker. So it's like they them they like. All right. Well, I was too much of a troublemaker. You were. I was. You still got checked. That's in what I like that, to right? say. That's what I like to say. Past tense. I like that. Yeah, I can see. I got like. I like. Like that's why I be smiling so much. I was. Right. I was. You could be like an old school rapper and just rap. Say like back in the day before every bar. Uh, Not like I'll shoot you. It's like back in the day I would shoot you. No, nah, but I can't nah. say back in the day I will because I still, if I have to, mm -hmm. but, you know, I keep myself away from the situations. And I, that's the thing. You got to keep it real with them. So the people who, you know, because there's kids that's going through them shits in the streets that they going to do it regardless. So my whole thing is you got to think smart. And this stay. thing's amazing, by the way. You like it? You know, be my blunt roller. What? You could just, like, come on tour with us and, like, you know, you could do the show and then you also roll me some splits. Let me splits. hit it. Let me hit it. It's just an idea. Let me hit it. You have a you have a roller? No, you do all your own rolling. Yeah, because muffin don't know how to roll, bro. None. Of, you got nine shit, who, guys who with you. Who stripped eighteen? Huh? They don't know how to roll, bro. Roddy Rebel can't roll one properly. Roddy Rebel, this nigga be having wild doodle coming out the back. This <laughs> fifth, bro. That shit, I be I be tight, bro. I hit that shit, wild shit on my lip. I'm like, what the fuck? How are you gonna do your man's like that? They, Roddy's a savage. You don't get to you. <laughs> you don't look too Roddy's happy about this savage. conversation. Roddy, you got a savage? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, so doodle, when we say doodle, that's like the back of the spliff. Okay. Um, the the grabber start coming yeah, out yeah. when it's getting moist. Get that in your mouth, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you fuck with musically coming out of New York right now? Every Everybody, really. Jay Cridge, fucking. Who, who's the other young boys coming up? Um, Everybody, bro. All the underground rappers, um, the top rappers like that out there, you know, besides me and Rowdy and the gang, is like everybody's sleepy. Mm -hmm. I fuck with all of them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You were locked up throughout the entirety of the Pop Smoke saga, which was like the craziest thing since you that happened in New York. Yeah. Cause I, was, I used to talk to him on the phone a lot, so I was just, I was mad. And I used to tell him, you know what I'm saying? He's telling me a lot of shit, but you know, he tell me a lot of shit. He tell me a lot of shit. We had a deep conversation. I was just mad I didn't get to get out side right. with him. You know what I'm saying? That would have been a beautiful moment. Damn. What's it like for you watching the, the K Flock thing happen? That's crazy. Next big I, artist coming out of New York. I love Flock, son. I like that little nigga. Son. I like that little nigga. That. Son. That's my guy. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just, I'm wishing them the best right now. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, for the alleged charges they're pushing on them, you know what I'm saying? I'm wishing his family the best. I'm wishing the whole team the best and everything you know what i'm saying and i hope he beat them alleged charges you know what i'm saying because he got a lot of a lot of a lot of shit to a lot of future brightness he got and i hope you know what i'm saying everything just wake all the young kids up and let niggas know like how fast that shit could just right you know what i'm saying that would be, be a sad story then, if that's the end of that hell chapter. No, man, we ain't gonna think like that you, right. know what I'm saying? you gotta stay positive for sure for sure bobby schmurder in the building let me take a look at these questions that we have written down here Oh, yeah, that was the GQ interview where you said that your waves would be in by 2022. <laughs> that was just like recently. So I guess I got to give you. There's a couple in there. Look, it's like two I got to give you more there. time. There's like two or three in there. Yeah, they're coming in. I don't know. So she be, they be grabbing my head. I'm like, stop grabbing my head. Why you be uh, grabbing my head? She be like, I'm like, stop grabbing my head. They be grabbing my ears. I don't know why. Those are the kind of clubs you're in where they're just rubbing your head and shit. No, they just, every time they be chilling, they grab the back of my head. They do this shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, right. They be fucking my head up and shit. Do you get out of prison and they just give you a box of Amiri hats? Uh, <laughs> That's how it goes these days. <laughs> no, the bros. If you're a rapper, they just here a mirror hat. Nah, my bros. Okay, they they hooked it up. Yeah, they get it from. Did you come? Did it take you a minute to get accustomed to the new drip? You fell right back into it. You come out with a stylist. They they let you wear clothes in prison. Do they? 
I did. I read an article about a guy getting to Rikers Island for the first time, and the the boss, like the gang boss of the fucking section, had like Prada shoes and shit like that. Yeah, you get people walking around with Pradas, Balenciagas in prison, all types of shit in prison. That's okay. some extra shit. That's the last thing you should be worried about. No, they don't do it. The family should be getting it for you. Just they, you got that's the shit. The, the family just bring it for you. I'm like, the fuck, I bring you shit. They just bring it for you. You were dripping Niggas. in there or not? <laughs> <laughs> I was driven since I came out the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best ways to kill time in there, though? I used to write and dance. Listen and to dance. music, write and dance. Stay active. Had wild parties all day. Parties? Wild parties in the cell. You were finding creative ways to have fun? I got a creative mind state. I'll just say that. I believe it. So. so where are you at in terms of releasing music right now? What do you say to the fans who say that is all this time has gone by that you should have dropped the album right away. Is done. It's just in mix and mode right now. And, you know, we just got Southside on the project yesterday, so it's even faster. It's going to be working even faster. You were in the studio with him? Yeah. What was that vibe like? Um, Southside, he's, he's, I got a link with Southside through one of my dogs from the streets. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my dogs. That's one of his dogs type shit. So it's more than just a thing. He like, yo, I got you. I'm, I'm going to take care of it for you. I'm, the I'm, you know the what I'm chemistry with you and him. I'm, I need to. I, you, I'm you gonna let, you let you hear it right after. So we got with him. I'm you got a filmer in there, though. I'd like to see like oh, yeah. what the conversations like with you. No, you're gonna listen to it. and You're gonna hear it as soon as we get off to this thing. Let's do that. Because at first, like, okay, they were comparing it to the Boosie situation in the sense that everybody was saying free Boosie, free Boosie, free Boosie, and then Boosie gets out, and Boosie obviously is a legend, and he still has a fucking great career and everything. But then it felt like once Boosie out, that people weren't necessarily showing him as much love to his music as they should have been. Do you feel like that at all? Like a little bit like, damn, New York should be behind me more right now. Um, since I've been out, I, f I feel like I got to just put more into my marketing. Mm. That's what it is. I didn't like, see, the difference was when I was gone before, the game is ran different. And that's what I had to learn, how you put music out. You can't just put music out. You have to have marketing. Everybody who puts music out, I want these young artists to know that. And I, that's the thing I... I hate about through the, the game when they, they talk about the rappers like you talking about the rappers earlier. Mm. The game don't tell you that. They ain't gonna tell you the young artists about the marketing. They gonna tell you about how to put your music to get this out. Uh, and you know what I'm saying to put this here to make sure it's seen here and this and they, 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 they don't tell you about none of that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? But they wanna tell you about this and that. Or they wanna tell a rapper, oh, you rapping about this and that, but you don't tell the kids. You know what I'm saying? Why you don't tell you gotta tell these young motherfuckers <laughs> about business? And that's gonna spark their head more. Don't don't have me around it to, to, to try to make me business. I mean, don't have me around it to make me Make you money, you know what I'm saying? You're like, let me learn something too. You know now, what I'm now I know all these under, Get the knowledge. You know? I know all these independent artists now who are bringing in like a couple hundred thousand a month. Like, they don't even got, they don't even need a label and they're doing great for themselves. You ever look at that and think that could be you or you think that mm, you want no. the label, you want that manpower? No, I got the label. I don't, I got the label. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got the label. When you came out, one like People that in the word. game know, like I, I, like, I got the label, but I got to keep professional. Right. You feel me? 100%. What are you really trying to accomplish this year, though? Drop the, the album, make drop the, the album, album go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Get a label of the album, drop this album. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Get this shit out. Get this shit pushing down. Once this album out, I just want to get this documentary and this movie out. You know what 100%. I'm saying? You know who else they freed recently? Who? Britney Spears. She was locked up? Not like locked up, but her dad had a conservatorship where he got to control everything she did. She couldn't control her own business or anything like that. Oh, uh, see, but... Shit like that, and I, that's why I, I, that's what I think we should pre preach to the kids how they're young before they sign deals. Don't you know sign saying? your career over to a random ass corporation you know nothing about. Yeah, but but mumbo, if you're coming from the streets, yeah. and all you're doing is selling crack, and you shoot shit, you having a music video, you shoot niggas the same day, you having music videos, shit. You know what I'm saying? We coming mm -hmm. from the streets where it's lit like that. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know nothing about no contracts. You don't know nothing about none of that. They telling you, thing. I'm I'm shooting niggas for twenty dollars. They telling you they can give you a million dollars right here. That's right. what they do to these young motherfuckers when they know a young nigga don't know his shit not worth uh, worth. Your shit gonna send. I sold over eight to seven million for these motherfuckers. I'm not knowing that at the time. You know right. what I'm saying I'm just shooting niggas. Same day I'm having a video shoot. Same video shoot. Ah, lighting these up in and then go dance after. You know what I'm saying so it's like shit like that. So motherfuckers is from the streets. They don't know none of that. That's a busy day. They're not gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I like it. That's a long day. But you feel me? Hey, they don't tell you how to manage a business. They ain't gonna tell you how to run a business. They ain't gonna tell you how to maintain a business. And that's the shit that you, niggas need to teach the young motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. I we gonna tell about teaching motherfuckers, son. Right. How Could to run their business, manage their business, and maintain their business. Could you see yourself having your own 
artists like I'm doing all that right now I'm learning that's what that's the whole thing in process I'm learning everything right now see when I came home I had the whole reset right everything got reset you feel like you're back to normal now did it take you a little bit to get back to that speed? Because it's, it's kind of hard for me to imagine lot. you moving at a slower speed. With the career, and the career point, I was living life, but I was, at the career point, I was like doing music, but also having fights with my career too, at certain points. Fights? Yeah. Right, when you got home. Yeah. You probably wish that you could have came home and just right into the smooth situation you already wanted to be I was signed the whole six years in jail. Right. So, I, you know what I'm saying? You ever heard of uh, a label keeping a motherfucker six years in jail? Uh, do they? I don't know. Normally, they don't want to let go of right, somebody then. unless so, they got to, right? right? So that's what it is when I say niggas can read between the lines, but at the same time, I'm on contract, so I can't. You know what I mean? Yeah. But motherfuckers know what's up. Can't I bust can't. the moves you want to bust. Because at the end of the day, it's business. Hmm. One hundred percent. You going right back to New York after this, or where are you going? I got to Utah. We going to Utah. We shooting actually a video. We doing Utah. Yeah, we supposed to be shooting a video with Uzi and Rowdy, and me and Rowdy shooting a video. Why is Uzi in Utah? He think he could battle me and dance when I keep trying to tell this motherfucker I can't fuck with me. That's the idea? Nah, we got this crazy song. I'm going to let you listen to it. Really? You're going to go there and dance battle him? On a snow machine. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds incredible. <laughs> Things can't fuck with me. I keep telling these motherfuckers, huh? You never break dance, though? No. I can't we could throw that. some cardboard down I do right like here. Yo, bro, we can get I can't down. do like dances like other people dance. I could do my dances. It's crazy. Right. Like I can't do other people. I could do other people's dances to a certain extent, but like certain shit I can't do. Right. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I can't do every dance. I'm I just do my own shit. I do my own vibes. Okay, I my, know, I just my own this vibes. is my question though. I'm listening to the clubhouse call and I hear Ether the Connect. Shout out to him getting on the call and Ooh. he Ether. Oh yeah. And he's defending your dancing and saying basically like, nah, that's just how he is, yada yada. That's how that's how he came up. There's some Jamaican shit, yada yada. And then they're asking him, would you dance like that? And he's like, nah. And they're all laughing at him, but he's like, I'm a big fucking dude. Like, no, and I feel no, the same no, way. No, I'm, no, I'm big see, ass see, dude. I don't see, know if I can really. I chill around everybody. I know big niggas. I make killers. I'm talking about niggas that kill niggas that you come to jail. Your, 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 your family crying because you ain't come out of jail. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm making them dance. I make everybody dance. So that other shit is bullshit excuses. You know what I'm saying? Everything else is excuses. Everything else is just. It's just motherfucker, you ain't got no rhythm. That's it. Just keep it like that. I, I'm don't don't to admit say that it ain't yeah. no gangster shit. No, nigga, you ain't got no rhythm. Cause we don't smoke anything moving, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Bro, they like gum bouncing off nigga skin. We done did anything and we dancing still. Y'all motherfuckers just ain't got no rhythm, nigga. That's it. So no excuses. <sighs> no excuses. You ain't got no rhythm. Dance. Nigga. That's it, nigga. Just dance. You know what I'm saying? My shit bounce off nigga skin. All that. Ah. You know what I mean? Bro, they like, ah. They, they go do hot nigga after. Ah. <laughs> Come see me. We on the block all day. We're gonna do it for Joe Crib, my mama crib, yo, what's up? Right. What we doing it at? All right. These niggas wanna go home, tell them stop playing. You also missed the fidget spinners while you were gone. What's that? Spin that bitch. You That's know? how I be spinning blocks. I'm playing, I'm playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I kept man, making I, that joke the I other day. To. They're going to think I, I took it from to. him. <laughs> See, he get me activated. He trying to push the button. You heard? I'm trying All to, I said was I'm spin. I'm not going to make him push the button, y'all. <laughs> Nobody said you had to do the spin the block joke. Like, Bobby, yeah, you get you activated, Bobby. I know it. That my friends do that shit. Some of my friends, they be fucking with me all day. active. See, look. You know? Not like that. But we're doing podcasts. That's kind of active, right? You like, the, you like one of my shmurders. I'm like one of the shmurders. Yeah, his name A-Rod. Maybe I could be a shmurder. Your Adam personality, Schmider. your personality, yeah. You think yeah. you ain't got no white boys? Uh, no, we got like assholes. We all assholes. Uh, that's all it takes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We just all like funny ass. <laughs> you know, I DM'd you right when you got out trying to get the interview. I figured oh, it was never gonna happen. No, you know why? Because at that thing, I had people controlling the Instagram, this that. You know, oh. motherfuckers was getting me when I first came over with the yo. I got you, bro. You just, you just home chill. Let me take care of it. This nigga trying to talk the girls in the DM. This motherfucker mm. over here doing this. I'm mean, the fuck. Y'all do it. <laughs> but do you let Man, your homies get in? Let the that's a rapper move. I realize is you let your homie run your Instagram so they can be talking to the girls. They supposed to they gonna tell you like yo, I'm gonna run all the business for you. Do this, that, this, right. that. This nigga doing this, that, and the third day you whip somebody ass. They, they, they can just field all the girls that are trying to come through. No, line the party up, right? Girls are trouble. Not all girls. Good girls are good, but girls are trouble. They get you in some trouble. I heard you got hella bitches out here. Oh my gosh. No? I ain't got no hell of bitches. I think it was bro. someone on your team who told me that. But I ain't got no hell of bitches. Maybe bro. I was confused. I'm looking for I'm looking for three girlfriends. <laughs> this is just, just a mere three. <laughs> My Miami, New York, L. Uh, <laughs> damn, see, he I'm almost hit his head. You almost got a concussion right there. I'm fucking around. Trust the Aries. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. 
Brooklyn stitches only. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. Bobby Schmurda. I appreciate you coming through, man. Okay. Legend. Legend. Legend in the building. He already been interviewed many times since he got out, so I don't know. I I, I tried to just have fun with it, you know? Yeah, we, I'm glad we stayed away from the sex addict thing. Well, yeah, you are a sex addict. Do you want to talk about that? You're a sex addict, too. Nah, I just be having sex for money. <laughs> Some sex addict <laughs> shit. <laughs> what the Only fuck? plugtalk.com. You know what? I got a podcast where we fucking interview the girls and then we fuck them. You lie. For real? Oh, God. Me and my girl. <laughs> only plugtalk.com. It's only $5 for your first month. <laughs> <laughs> See, See, I just slipped that in. I think that's when I get mad. You know, finally. Well, you like that idea, though? Then I'm you saying, could come on and fuck some girls I'm or playing, something. I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> like, Bob, you better not. You know who Brian Pumper is? Who? All right. Bobby Pumper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Donna. Bobby, Bobby Pumper. Okay. <laughs> Bobby Schroeder, No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, yeah. Patreon, OnlyFans, all that shit. Money out now. Like, comment, subscribe. Nojumper.com if you want to support. Appreciate you, man. Love.